Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53, second round match between Sambo Simon and the best team in the competition. A high elf team called Roller Dwarves, where every player is called Jimmy Fantastic, wonderful. Um, up against Talk 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 with Chaos Dwarves and a wizard. Um, 12 players, not very good bulls. Pretty rowdy. Oh, oh, rowdy claw bombers here. Two full claw bombers. Strength four. Six guard. So pretty good chaffs. Not great. Not great bulls and not great hobbles. Versus, yeah, the amazing high elf team. Every player's called Jimmy Fantastic. I mean, you can't beat that, can you? It's so good. Um, <laughs> you got 13 players total. Got a Rackler. Got a Strength Up. Got an Adjo. A few guards. It's a pretty nice team. How'd the goblin team get all these dwarves? Well, it's more that the uh, that the chaos dwarves got the hobgoblins, but yeah. Jim for yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. That's pretty good. Gloomy mushrooms. Oh yeah, the bloody goblins. We we all thought they were goblins, didn't we? Really thought. And then and then these are roller dwarves. It's two two. Deceptively named teams, Roller Dwarves, Roller Dwarf versus Gloomy Mushrooms, yeah. <laughs> Roller Dwarfs, great team name, great player names. Surely, surely the High Elves have to win. Well, they are likely to be on the receiving end of the 20 AV breaks. <laughs> can they beat? Can they beat the Dimmy Math? No, oh, tackle hobble. Did, no, it wasn't. It was just a one in nine. Okay. I saw the dodge came up and thought he must have uh, must have failed. Well, there's a big foul coming here, isn't there? This is pretty horrible. Pretty horrible for the high elves. Horrible for the high elves. I guess there's a chance that he uh, exposes things like that follow up. I kind of hate that follow up. It gets wrestled. See, because if, if he hadn't followed and he stood here still, there's still like a screen, right? Because he has to, he has to foul this thing. <laughs> like he just has to. It's against the law to not foul this guy. He's not fouling him. Flip me. Flip me. Imagine not fouling him. I guess he could foul that guy. Well, no foul. Jimmy Fantastic lives to f lives to run away another day. <laughs> Follows up. Oh. It's a bit rowdy. <laughs> that knockdown does give him the 2D there. Sucks away another re reroll. Blitzers, eh? Watch step guard. Watch step. Strength four. You know, the leap might do something sometime. It's not totally terrible. He doesn't pack it. Shouldn't have piled on, but it gets removal, so maybe it was correct. 
I mean, it, it's turn four, I guess, so he has got to start making removals. Quite like the reroll, actually. One in nine is pretty terrible against him. He does have to get moving. This elf team can wall off pretty effectively. Quite like him on the other side as well because the, the handoff to the hobgoblin off might have to happen on turn eight. Keeping the guard on the cage corners. Ooh. We're going in a little bit. Interesting. <laughs> Super interesting. Well, it's him and have a strength four sidestep from the ball. Well, I did say that guy should have been fouled a few turns ago. <laughs> and the whole turn should have been about trying to get the foul on him, I thought. But. Yeah, this is pretty, uh, very aggressive. But when you think about it, you know, two of them are standing up. It's like eight times out of nine, he gets the dodge, but then where does he go afterwards? How can he hit him? He's already blitzed. Probably should have, uh, probably should have blitzed with that bullet. Eh? Oh, he hasn't got tackle. Yep, most of the team is going down here. But here we go, going for the one in nine chance. <laughs> he gets it. Outrageous. Outrageous. Sacrificed his whole team for a one in nine chance and then got it. <laughs> but you know, that's the thing, even if he makes it, like, he's not in great shape for the next turn either, so... It was kind of high risk, high reward. Oof. Yeah, I guess he just saw the chance to get the um, strength four sidestep on the ball. Just went for it. Oh man. Oh man, what a scare. Oh man. Edge five right there. Leaps. Because the guy had tackle, wonderful. Dot just threw there. <laughs> Glor man, high elves are great, aren't they? I'm actually regretting using dark elves in air of BP already because it's just like the fucking high elf sound effects are too good. Ha! <laughs> Little giggles and stuff as well. It's brilliant. Wait, what? Was he? Did he, did he have to stand up to go there? Couldn't he have just gone? Oh, there's a player here. We well, he could have hit him first, and then if he powers him, he could have dodged through here, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still couldn't get all that. Now. Hmm. Oh! Doesn't seem right. <laughs> not dead. Oh, maybe not dead. Stun four. Jimmy Fantastic, the best. Not easy to uh, stall this, is it, for Sambo Simon? Maybe he should have tried to get that catcher in scoring, like, you know, 
Maybe he couldn't. Maybe he could have tried to get two catches in scoring range. Like moving both around either side. He might just have to go back and get the nil nil. Oh, okay, gonna sideline Cage with him to get this guy through. Yeah, okay, that's it's kind of acceptable. I wonder if he should just done the dodge first in case it failed. Then could have uh, maybe changed plan if the reroll had gone. Oh, <laughs> that's great sound effect. He's gonna get shut down hard now, isn't he? But at least he's got artifact. Oh, he's got the oh, wow revolting. Okay. Okay, I mean, that seems optimistic with no rerolls in two turns. But I guess it's better than being scored on. So, there is that. This is by blocking that square. You couldn't push him there, and if you if you could have pushed him to there, it was like the scatters could have been bad, right? The scatters could have gone to here, here. Like these scatters are pretty bad. That became possibilities by not being able to push him to there. It's just not getting the swing, is it? That's the thing, Ducky. Like, it's unlikely to get the swing. It's, it's, it might be a one touchdown. Like, move, but it's not going to be a two touchdown move, is it? And it's the question of can a one touchdown move win you the game? Or do you just end up losing this one more now? Whereas, if he had saved it for the second half and turned the second half from a 1-0 to the Elves to a 1-0 to the Chorfs, then he gets to overtime, doesn't he? If you see what I mean. But maybe you think you can't get a two-touchdown a two swing out of the Wizard in the second half, but then... It's tough. Like, you know, it, who knows if it's right or wrong. Who can say if it's good or bad? Uh, I think just put the bull in first, right? Put the bull in here first. Much damage. Wow, power apple. I guess he was only getting one four plus to get him back, and he's got four guys already killed. That's a pretty pretty ballsy power apple. Oh no, he'll do commentary. <laughs> dub skulls and a dub pals. I don't think anyone can score. Wow, it looks like he got everyone. Oh, two. oh, but he had he had three reserves, so he's still got eleven. Yeah, still has eleven players. Obviously, down in quality, strength of cat, dodge catcher, and a blodge lino replaced by rookie linos. A removal for the hob for the hobbles with a removal for the chokes. Still 11 versus 11. Pretty successful half for the. And 11 versus 11. Uh, nil nil and the wizard gone for the Chorfs. So, pretty successful half for the Elves. Daka Daka.
Oh, catch a start with it. Perfect. Love to see a Daka. I really do love the pack. I think it's a top, top strat. Not sure about getting the blitz here against the standard player. Oh, look at that. 70% actual human confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Septum, isn't it? Sambo Simon. I believe. This is the thing. How is he gonna. How is Talk, Talk, Talk gonna defend against the Daka? Is the big question. So far, the answer is he isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but um <laughs> there's time for that to change I guess I bet Sambo Simon's feeling pretty confident with his turn being so terrible It's interesting, isn't it? It was just too far from the goal, wasn't it? So it wasn't. It was beyond temptation. The gaps were like literally out, out the distance to even get to. But we'll see next turn if uh, if a defence happens. There's a dead catcher. Jimmy Fantastic is injured. Comedy Mega. Could have kept the apple. Used it on a 50-50. Would have had a 50-50 chance to get it back from the KO anyway. And appling that has cost him a guard. The guard dodge step catcher. Brutal. Well, he's got a bit more of a defense this turn. Sambo Simon is just going straight through. I like that, and that sidestep, that's what I thought he'd do with that hit. Really nice. Mm. 
I wonder if that, that lino should have come in here. I would have liked to have seen that. First move, getting that guy back. Central. Guess he's putting the side stuff. Oh, ball. He's gonna hit the ball. Well. So he couldn't have done that if he put if he put this guy where I where I said. But wow, the, worked out fantastically well, letting him one day the ball as as he dub skulls and stuns himself, and that's almost GG. Wow, next level play from Sambo Simon. Let your opponent hit the ball and dub skull himself. Amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 strats, that, isn't it? Can't argue with that. <laughs> yeah, I quite like the dodge. Dodge out the block. <laughs> This is almost done, isn't it? With all these, all these dwarves now. Those two, oh, these guys all packed in. There's basically two guys to stop five. Because the bull is fast, but still. Jimmy Fantastic's killed, diced. So quite a good turn. Quite a good turn from talk, talk, talk. But will it be enough? To stop the health. Yeah, it's gone for the dodge. Gets the knockdown. Like tackle, okay, it's it's good for getting the knockdowns when you block people, but at the end of the day they can still just two plus off. So it is a dodge, four plus dodge to get him. Right, I guess you can get this guy now. No, oh, I, I think I would have, uh, I would have tried the three two pluses to to base the uh, ball there. Could have dodged and double geified. Because the bull's got a four four plus to two D the ball essentially. Maybe he doesn't have to try and blitz the ball. Probably does though, doesn't he? Oof, did he, did he even 
didn't see the guard was acting as quick as trying to hit the guard. He just go for four plus. No, he doesn't. <gasps> Pussy out like a boss. <laughs> I think he probably should have made the four plus. Just the fact that he's got block, like the 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 elf is blockless, right? And he can just blitz with a strength and then two plus everyone. Oh wow, okay. I don't like that so much. I guess it is the bull's really good though, isn't it? Because now now the other one's got a three two, which is is he just gonna score it? No, he's not gonna score. Yeah, I kind of hate him having a 3-2. But, it does work. And the little screen there is really nice. Yes, this is actually really good, wasn't it? As long as you, as long as you get that 3-2. To so me, this is one where like the slightly safer thing isn't as good. Well, not slightly much safer thing isn't as good, so it's worth taking a slight risk of the one in now to get this end state. The tackle break tackler is finally in the mix. And if the tackler break tackler had swapped positions with a the blocker, then I'd have already got the ball by now, wouldn't I? But that, that double skull hitting the ball really into it into the AV break really fucked him. Well, do the high elves score and give the two turn? Probably has to. It's hard to stall this, doesn't it? And it doesn't. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> Glorious. I think Talk 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 did play that quite well. But um it's hard to stop a Dakar, isn't it? Hard to stop a Dakar. And I thought Sambo Simon played it quite well as well, though apart from leaving the one day on the ball. Which wasn't wasn't great, was it? But then that that is what gave him the biggest payoff <laughs> out of everything on the drive. The thing that gave him the biggest benefit was the was the mistake he made, if you like. I think it's fair to call it a mistake, a pretty easy one day on the ball. You probably shouldn't be leaving your opponent's easy one dice on the ball. Depends, obviously. But defenseless one day on the ball. Oh, what cheese there? Yeah, it's green, isn't it? Well, oh, wait, no, out of cheese roll. <laughs> hmm. You're missing an E there. <laughs> I love that. I love the high L sound effect. As much as I've been enjoying playing in the era BB League, I like. I'm missing not having the high elf sounds. I ran in the character limit. Dice. Jimmy Fantastic is bad for character limits, let me tell you. That is that is bad for character limits. Even on this, right, it's Jimmy Fantasty. And then C is on the next line. <laughs> Diced.
Well, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good offense. Yeah, indeed, took it. Yep. yep. That's pretty good. I think he should have done an extra one though, right? Hmm. I think so. He's got two. I guess he's got to win overtime though. But can leap with the strength four. Yeah, the strength four can leap in. Oh man, what a play, guys! It's a pow. <laughs> Strength for the <laughs> casual catch. No. Oh, double one diced. Maybe he could have moved this guy first here, like he's not tagging tackles on, he could have just gone there to put another tackles on on him. Like here or here, maybe. Doesn't get the ball yet. Does get the ball now. Okay, so we're going for this, the bull centaur. Dodge. Gets the dodge. Oh man. So three, can you, can you double GFI? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think you can double GFI to make this a five plus. So three, two, two, five, four. Not even terrible. Pretty, pretty good effort, valiant effort from talk, 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 with the chaffs. But and he had the twenty AV breaks, twenty two AV breaks to four. But it was not enough. The dimmy ratio was not enough to beat Rollerdorf's at the Avoidan Stadium with every player except this asshole being called Jimmy Fantastic. Unbelievable. A team with 12 Jimmy Fantastics and it's some other shithead that gets the MVP. What an absolute joke. Diced again in a game I wasn't even playing. Um, but there you go. Commiserations, talk, talk, talk. Congratulations, Simon or Simon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.